Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and this is a quick look at the new browser from Opera. The Opera web browser is, you know, one of those choices that we have available. Uh, if you don't want to use Google Chrome, which is of course the big dominant browser, you uh, want to try something different. Well, Opera is one of those browsers that's kind of cool to watch. It's different, feels different. It is of course based on Chromium. So it has that com compatibility and it's a nice little browser to try out. And the new version called R2020, new branding for the Opera actually browser. So they are calling this version, which is version 67, R2020. So how do you know if you have the latest, if you already have Opera? Well, what you need to do is simply open your Opera browser, go into the uh, Opera menu on the upper left corner go into help and about opera and this will actually update if you're not updated already normally it updates by itself so you, you just you know uh, clicking on the opera browser should update to version 67 that you see here but if it doesn't you can actually force it manually like this i will post a link to the download page for the opera browser also as you can get it at opera.com if you want to try it out. So anything new in this new version of Opera? Well, one of the first, probably the first big features is workspaces. And you can actually add up to work five workspaces in this new version. So workspaces is a new tool that you can actually organize your tabs to whatever projects that you're doing. So for example, you might be working on a project that requires you to be on um, you know, some websites like, for example, Wikipedia and other websites where you might need to search for all sorts of information. It might be a link to uh, other subjects. Workspaces will let you actually create a workspace that is uh, linked to that subject that you might want to actually work on. So you go on the left side here, if you actually right click on the home button in the sidebar, you already see that workspace one and two is created. But you can go at the bottom and the three horizontal dots, you'll see that you have workspaces, you can add more here, it shows you different icons, and different things you can actually add to this. And of course, it lets you create your personalized workspaces. So you can just quickly switch from one to the other. And an example that I can give is there here, there's two workspaces. If I right click on the home button and I go into workspace two, you notice that the sidebar icons have changed. They're not the same. This is the workspace, of course, that you are using. You end the workspace two and you have workspace one, which has different icons. Every workspace will have its own icons that you can go through. So this could be useful if you work and are the kind of person that likes to have, um, you know, different types of projects running at the same time, you'll be able to personalize all of that. The other feature that is added here is highlighting duplicate tabs. And duplicate doesn't mean that it's necessarily the same website open in different tabs, uh, or the same web page. It could be from the same website, but two different pages, but it will actually let you know by hovering your mouse pointer that there are other tabs in your browser that are also from the same website. So an example here, I intentionally opened two tabs for space.com. If I go on one of them with my mouse pointer, you see that the other tab is also highlighted. Opera is telling me that I have more than one tab open for this same website. So this could be useful. Sometimes we open a lot of tabs and kind of forget that maybe we've already opened some tabs. Uh, or some websites in other tabs, and now you have a quick view of all the tabs that have the same browser or the same website inside them. There's, of course, an updated uh, tab cycler now when you actually have several tabs open. The uh, control tab feature, new app cycler, you could see here. This is uh, nice and kind of updated to reflect a better usability of the um, Opera browser. They've improved the video pop-up controls. So if you're watching, for example, a YouTube video, you pop up the video 
and you do other things. Once gonna one of the biggest problem with Opera was that it was difficult to kind of control the video and you know uh, go back and, and and change different things. Well, they kind of improved upon more control over the video, and there's even a video timer back to tab button and so on. They've improved the sidebar configuration, so you have an uh, easier to understand sidebar setup and panel uh, because they uh, had a lot of uh, feedback about how this was, of course, um, one of the problems that people were having in understanding how to set up you know, the sidebar correctly. And there's a security feature. They've improved the privacy and the security options of Opera R2020 by providing DNS over HTTPS. So that means that over secured HTTP, which is, of course, encrypted, uh, adds a layer of security with DNS here. And that means that you, of course, it will prevent eavesdropping. It will depend. Um, it will help with, you know, man-in-the-middle attacks problems. Why? Because HTTPS is secure. It's an encrypted tunnel between your browser and the website that you are visiting. And of course, the usual security features every time there's a new update in browsers, there are security features. And that's something important to know. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Don't forget, if you want to try the Opera browser, link is in the description just below the video. And you can uh, download the new Opera browser 67 or R2020 as they have rebranded.